everyone, if you're trying to get your PS5 controller working with Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 on your PC, you're in the right place. I'll show you exactly how to get it connected and get it working in your Flight Sim. First, let's pair your controller to your computer. So on Windows 11, go to the Start menu and type in Bluetooth. Click Add Bluetooth or Other Devices, then you should see a button that says Add Device. Click on that. And now select Bluetooth. Now grab your PlayStation controller and hold down the PlayStation button and the Shared button at the same time. You'll know it's entered pairing mode because you'll see the light blinking around the touchpad. You should now see the wireless controller pop up on your PC, so click that to pair it. Once it says connected, you're good to go to the next step. So next, we're going to make sure that your computer can actually recognize your controller in Flight Sim. So go to ds4windows.com. I'll link it below. Then go click on the download link up here. And then this download link here. That's going to get you the latest version. Once that opens up, open up the folder and unzip this file by right clicking and say an extract all. Now hit extract and open up the folder and you're going to double click on the exe file. This is going to open this up and you're going to have to hit download to update your .NET. Once that's downloaded, open it up by clicking on the download link and hit install. You're now going to update the Microsoft Windows desktop runtime. Now go find DS4 Windows again and open up the exe file again. Now you're probably going to want to select app data for this next part. So now you're going to check off the devices that you're going to be setting up. In this case, it's a PS5, so we're going to be using the DualSense device support. If you do have a PS4 or a different device, then you're going to want to check that one off. Hit close, and now you're going to install the driver. So click on step one for installation of the driver. Now we're going to go through the installation process. Now we've done all the mandatory steps for setting this up. We can actually say finished, unless you want to add one of those other features that they have. So if you hit start in the DS4 window, that is going to connect your PS5 to this program, as long as your PS5 remote is still on. If it's not, just hit the PlayStation button and it will automatically sync up to your PC. So now in order to make this easier for ourselves, we're going to go to the download folder again, and we're going to right click on the folder that we downloaded, the unzipped version though, not the zipped version, and we're going to cut that and we're going to paste it in a different location that we can find. You can leave it here. But it's just easier if you paste it into a different location so that way you don't accidentally delete it if you're clearing out your download folder later. To open it up, just go in that folder and find the exe file again. Now we're going to make this easier to open next time. So first thing you're going to want to do is open it up. And then when you see the logo at the bottom, you're going to right click and pin to taskbar. This way you don't have to go searching for it in your computer every time you want to open it. So it's important when you're going to run your flight sim to open the DS4 windows and have it running in the background. You don't need to have it visible, but it can just be minimized in the background when you're running flight sim. So to prevent your controller from showing up twice in your flight sim, you're going to want to download this app called Hid Hide, which is recommended by DS4 windows. So once you've finished installing, just come down to the search menu and type in Hid, and it should come up with Hid Hide configuration client. So once we connect our DS4 windows, you're going to see two versions of your controller. We have the Xbox version and we have the Sony version here. We're going to disconnect or hide the Xbox version. And that's going to prevent us from having issues when we go in our flight sim. Because your windows is seeing two different versions of this. This is putting out a virtual version and your windows is actually showing up with a version and it's doing things for you as well. So we want to make sure that we're only using one version for our flight sim. And this can work for other conflicts of other controllers as well. So it's a really handy little tool. So if you are using Steam and you do want to use the DS4 Windows feature, you're going to have to come into your Steam and right click on Steam, go manage, and then you're going to see controller layout. So click on controller layout. It's going to bring this up here and you're going to want to come just go next. Uh, actually, close this. You just go close and then you can come up here and say disable steam inputs and that's it. So now you can go back and get out of that. And now you'll see that your controller is only going to be in your uh, your flight sim once. Because if you leave that on, you're going to see multiple versions of your controller. So if you've done everything correct, you should now see your controller in here and should be able to go through and set everything up so that you can set up your controller just like you want it and it's going to allow you to adjust everything just like it's any other controller and you should be good to go.